to Heifer International. Welcome back. We've got Brennan Ortego in studio from the field. How you doing? Good, Barney. It's good to finally be here in the studio. That's right. You've been out watching a lot of El Camino baseball recently. How are they looking? They're looking good. They got off to a really good start in the beginning of the year, but they cooled off the last few weeks, so now they're looking to pick it up in conference play. Uh, they have a lot of good players. What about the coaching staff? Well, they got a great staff. Uh, Nate Fernley is the head coach of El Camino. He's in his fourth year now, and he's been doing a great job. Well, why don't you tell us a little bit more about him since you've gotten a chance to meet him? Absolutely. Well, Nate Fernley is now in his fourth season as El Camino's head coach, and he brings decades of experience spanning from his junior college days to his time as a minor league player. He's also put together an excellent coaching staff that includes his father, Bob Fernley, who started Torrance High before being drafted by the Astros. We got a chance to talk with Coach Fernley and his players at Warrior Field. Youth, energy, charisma. These are just a few things that Nate Fernley brings to El Camino's baseball program. Perhaps the most important thing Fernley brings to his squad is experience. After all, it wasn't too long ago that the Warriors coach chased his own dreams of being a major league player. And went to Long Beach City College right out of high school. Uh, played there for a couple years and then went on to play at BYU. Uh, played there for two years and then after those two years uh, ended up signing with the Indians. Played there for about three years, two and a half, three years, was traded to the Cubs and kind of ended in the Cubs organization. Um, and then went into coaching assistant coach at Long Beach City for two years and then uh, we won the state championship right place right time this job opened up and I've been here for the last three this started my fourth year this year's squad features seven returning position players it's a rare thing for a junior college program to have so many returners with the amount of high-level opportunities players can take in this day and age the Warriors credit their coach and their staff for creating such a stable program at El Camino at first I came in as a freshman usually a little shy and then um, he, I, he opened up really well to me, and I opened up, and then it was, a, it was a, we're like a family now. It's, it's a lot of fun. He's, he's a really funny guy. We, I always joke with him, and he jokes with me, and um, pretty much like we, we're a big family now. They relate to us on a personal level. Like they, they understand us a lot better because they're a little bit younger, and uh, they, uh, they, they, they get down to business when they need to. They, they, they know, they, they, all three of them, all actually all five of them know the game and uh, they understand where we come from and how, uh, how to deal with us as a young group of guys. Man, uh, he's a good coach, especially for pitching. He came here, that was my main concern, or not my main concern, my main purpose here is coming here to pitch. You know, he could teach me, he, teach, he has taught me a lot about like the ways of pitching, like, you know, like how to, be in control up there. That's, he said the uh, pressure to heart and soul of the team and really buy into that. So, you know, he's a real good coach. He's a good good assistant coach and a good head on his shoulders. So I, I trust him as a coach. He's a real good coach. The Warriors are now in the heart of their conference schedule. Coach Fernley is confident that his young team could get back to their consistent play as they've gone six and six in their last 12 games. With a two-game series against Mount Sac coming up, the Warriors will look to repeat their performance from last time against Mount Sac as they defeated the Mounties 9-1 on the Mounties' home field. Reporting for the Sports Desk, I'm Brandon Ortega. Looks like they're going to have a pretty good year. Coach gels well with the players. I recognize quite a few of the players that are on the El Camino roster from Torrance, especially Andrew Polito. Great place for him to start underneath the wing of Nate Fernley. Yeah, well, they have 10 total players from all the Torrance High School area. Polito, I would say, you know, kind of headlines that mm -hmm. group. He's Daily Breeze Player of the Year last year, and uh, he had a lot of options, you know, at the end of his senior year to go places. But I really think Nate Fernley was a big influence in bringing him to El Camino with all the pitching experience he had as a minor league player. Yeah, he wasn't. You know, it's not just Fernley being the head coach. They have a lot of other staff members who focus on fielding and, and at-bats and, and defense. Um, I'm looking, to, looking forward to a great year from them. Yeah, well, they have a great staff, you know, all around. You saw, uh, I believe it was Hein talking about, mm -hmm. they have a nice family, you know, concept going now. Uh, you know, a lot of these kids come in, they're young adults. Mm -hmm. You know, some of them are immature. They have a young staff that, you know, can relate to these kids on a personal level, you know, joking around and whatnot. But at the same time, you know, they get down to business and they're all here, they're all there to win games. Well, it looks like the continuity is just starting to gel. And uh, you were at the game, the Mount Sac game, right? I was. I was. And uh, yeah, we can talk about that now. So El Camino, as we said, started the season hot, scorching, scorching hot with a 7-0 record while scoring at least eight runs 
in five of their seven wins. Since then, the Warriors have cooled down significantly with just a 6-6 six six record since that hot start. Coach Fernley leaned to freshman pitcher Nick Turner to set the tempo against Mount Sac. When he keeps his poise, the rest of the team does. We fight through that, and then we go out and score runs. If he falls apart, I don't think we have that offensive inning that he used to have. Picking up the action now in the third inning, El Camino already up 2-0. Sophomore Kyle Petter singles to left for his second hit of the game. That scores West Torrance alum Aaron DeGuire, who went 4 for 5 on the day, and that puts El Camino now up 3-0 at the end of the third inning. Former 